to talk about the crazy conspiracy theory coming from the left. I know you have all seen that tape of Jim McCasa karate chopping the young lady's arm to prevent her from taking the microphone from him to give it to the next guy during the White House press conference featuring Donald Trump. The left is saying that that footage was doctored by InfoWars and shared on social media by Sarah Huckabee Sanders erroneously. This is something that they're really talking about, although it was recorded live. It's available in many sources. And the footage that they show to disprove the so-called doctor footage is not really different than what they claim is doctor. But we're going to get into this. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel put this on this show on ABC, which is really crazy. But then again, the left, they never cease to amaze me. Let's get into the video to see what he shows and what he says. President Trump held a press conference yesterday. A lot of people saw this. He got in a heated back and forth with Jim Acosta of CNN. And that spat cost Jim Acosta his press pass. For real, he's not allowed in the White House anymore. Not only did they suspend his credential, they claim Acosta accosted a female intern while she was trying to take... Now, that's funny, right? You could say, oh, Acosta, Acosta, that's funny. You can make jokes about a young lady kind of like being halfway assaulted. You can make jokes about that, and that's fine. But then when Trump goes on tape talking about, well, you can't do this to a woman if she wants you to, then you're going to take that and go all the way to saying, oh, he said you could do whatever you want without a woman's consent. He's a rapist, you know, sent him to jail, all this, that, and the third. There's obvious double standards here. And a lot of these videos, that's what I try to push this whole thing about, you know, it being both sides have problems. No, the left does whatever they want to do. And then when the right is accused of doing something that's wrong without any kind of evidence, unlike what we have here in Jim Acosta's case, then all of a sudden it's World War Three. But let's get in, get right back into the video. The microphone from them. <laughs> this is the alleged incident from yesterday. May I ask one other question? Ahead. Are you worried? That's enough. That's enough. Well, That's enough. I was going to ask one of the, the other folks. That's it. Okay. Now, you can see him touching her right here. This is on CNN. Matter of fact, let me take myself out of it for a moment so you can see the CNN logo. It is right over there on the bottom right-hand corner. And you see right here that he's touching her. Now, we can back up a little bit, back up a couple frames. Go I'm going to try to get it That's right enough. when That's enough. President, I, well, That's enough. he touches her. Boom, right there. Now, it's clear that he is touching her. She's trying to get a microphone from him. He has his arm extended right there in the crease of her arm to try and chop it down. So it's like right here. So she's reaching like this, and he's trying to chop here to push it down. And you can see kind of how her body jerks a little bit when he does that because he's applying force. That's what happens. This is a video that Kimmel and the ABC staff are showing you to try and disprove the so-called doctor video from InfoWars, allegedly. And they can't even say if it's from InfoWars or not. They're just saying maybe it could be. Folks, that's ma enough. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm, I'm Excuse me. That's enough. Okay, not only didn't he accost her, he said, pardon me, ma'am. <laughs> so if you say... Pardon me, that's all right. If you could punch somebody in the face and say, well, I'm sorry, pardon me, then it makes it okay. Did you not just punch him in the face? But let's keep going. Well, that's where the Huckabee S machine comes in. Sarah Huckabee Sanders <laughs> tweeted, uh, she tweeted a doctored video clip that they believe is from InfoWars, which is a website for the mentally unbalanced, in which they sped up Jim Acosta's hand movement to make it look more violent. And the part where he says, pardon me, ma'am, they cut the audio out. They altered this video and now this is a video that they say has been doctored. Now you just saw that. I'm going to back up a little bit to show it to you again. And you tell me if there's any difference between what they showed at the beginning and what they're showing right now. The part where he says, pardon me, ma'am, they cut the audio out. They altered this. video. How was this any different? It's the same thing. The only difference is a uh, degradation of quality from the first video that's all that there is anybody that knows anything about uh video editing production you would know that that's the only difference matter of fact motherboard which is from what i know a pretty leftist type of website came out and said that 
a forensic expert said there is no evidence in the White House video of Jim Acosta being doctored. It's right here. Okay, there, there's no evidence of it. Matter of fact, let's go to this website and see what they got going on. No evidence. The White House video, Jim Acosta was doctored. And you can see I'm right here on Motherboard. And if you don't believe me, if you think somehow that me accessing links live and in real time is somehow doctored, I will place all of this in the description box below. I mean, it's right here. Now, this is from C-SPAN. This is directly from C-SPAN. I could tell by this right here. I asked one other question. Are you worried? That's enough. That's no, enough. Mr. President, I that's well, and asked one of the, the other folks. That's asked, enough. It's the same thing. I'm, I'm, Mr. President, that's enough. There's no difference. One of the questions, if I may, enough. ask one of the, the other folks. That's it's the same exact thing. Like, show me how there's any difference between what Kim will show in the beginning the so-called doctor footage that was on Twitter, I suppose, and this, which comes directly from C-SPAN, okay? I mean, directly from C-SPAN. This is, I just clicked on it right there, and it gives me the information from C-SPAN.org, okay? So, what are we really talking about here? Let's get back to Jimmy Kimmel's video. Video, and we'll take a look here, and you see, like, they it sped up his hand and the white house press secretary tweeted this video she wrote, it's the same video the only difference is a drop in the quality and that is it and that is all there's no other difference president trump believes in a free press and expects and welcomes tough questions of him and his administration we will however never tolerate a reporter placing his hands on a young woman just trying to do her job as a white house intern now Jim Acosta clearly never touched that White House intern. That's just a lie. And I did. Okay, hold on. First, let's see. Now you're lying. First, you said that the video was sped up to make the hand movement seem more violent than what it was. So did he move his hand at all? I mean, I don't understand. You said that the hand movement was sped up, which means that the hand movement did happen. So if the hand movement happened, what happened? Did he like stop right before? Like right, right there on a, like, like right here, like a millimeter before he touched her skin. Come on. You see it jerk her body back in the video. You put at the very beginning of this video, which is supposed to be the official source from CNN. You see the exact same thing that you see on the other one. The only difference is one, the video quality is less and two, you zoomed in. That is the only difference. The video, the action what happened is the exact same with no difference. But see, you know what? I think Kimmel and all these other people know what they're doing. They're trying to put out confusing information to the public. So they just take it for what it is. They take it for gospel, although it's totally not true. But I don't expect anything different from uh, these crazy leftist media organizations. But you know what? It's not even just leftists talking about this. You got a lot of people, Bishop Shapiro also came out and said something talking about no need to state something happened that didn't. And here's this tweet right here. Um, Sarah Huckabee Sanders says President Trump believes in the free press and expects and welcomes tough questions of him and his administration. We will, however, never tolerate a reporter placing his hands on a young woman just trying to do her job as a White House intern. And then he says this is not what happened. You could have banned him simply for refusing to abide by any of the normal rules of the press room. No need to state something happened that didn't. So, I mean, Ben Shapiro, whose side are you on, sir? I'm not really sure. I mean, you're defending all kind of people. And you know what? It's kind of funny that Ben Shapiro has this particular stance because didn't he quit Breitbart over the whole the Michelle Fields incident? Remember when Corey Lewandowski kind of like pushed her out of the way from trying to, you know, intercept the Secret Service bubble? trying to get a question from Trump and then Breitbart kind of sided against her and he quit because of that. But then you want to sit here and say what happened on video camera. You, you probably were there and you probably watched it live. What happened didn't happen. I mean, where are we at right now? When you can see live footage happened in real time and people not even really believe that it happened. I'm going to go ahead and close out this particular video. I think that there's no more to be seen here. Let's just see what else he says in this thing i saw some of this and he went into this whole sock puppet routine which is kind of weird but let's go ahead and just move right along 
think this also might be the first time I've seen Sarah Sanders take the woman's side on any subject ever. But- hey, no, don't, don't even play that gender card because you guys only care about women when they believe in the same things you believe in. Because let this have been a conservative person karate chopping the arm of a liberal young lady. Let it have been the guy from Breitbart or something like that doing that. And let the president in office have been Barack Obama. Your stance would be totally different. It's crazy to see how liberals have these double standards. They'll totally just throw the young lady under the bus all because they hate Trump. They'll, they don't have any kind of standards or morals or loyalty to any one particular set of values, which is why they're so anti-religion, but I digress. But so good for her. Baby steps. But she should be forced to resign for that. I mean, she intentionally disseminated doctored video footage to discredit a reputable journalist. She's the White House press secretary. She's- now, elephant in the room here. I don't know what's going on with man's voice. He might be sick or something. But, I mean, you sound like 13-year-old puberty right now. Your voice is really cracking super high. But why should Sarah Huckabee Sanders be fired? What evidence do you have, Jimmy Kimmel, ABC, CNN, Ben Shapiro, that the video that... We all have seen with our own two eyes was Dr. The video that you showed shows exactly what she's claiming happened, happened. So what are you talking about? See, the thing about it, these people will put out information like this to just plant a seed. And then when people start to watch it, they believe it. You heard in the crowd, oh my God, people believe it. So then when I come on my rebuttal, my voice may be less than theirs. So the end goal is to try to just put something out there that people believe. Just like the whole thing with the Access Hollywood tape. People still believe that Trump said that he's going to do a thing against a woman's will because media put it out there like that, which is why when you keep putting out false information, you become the enemy of the people. You're poisoning the minds of people to think differently than what's actually happening. You're distorting reality. So I think I'm going to end it right there. I don't have too much more to say. I think I pretty much said it all, but what do you think? Do you think that this is a ongoing campaign to try and discredit Trump to try and make Trump look like the bad guy? I mean, this is really an obvious one. The video that he showed shows the thing that happened between Jim Acosta and the young lady at the white house. There's no evidence that the video they're talking about that Sarah Huckabee Sanders retweeted came from Infowars There's no evidence of any kind of doctoring. Motherboard even came out and had a forensic expert that said there's no evidence of the video being doctored. If you're going to say a thing like that, please be able to prove it with evidence and not just your feelings. But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments.